you sleep? Uh-huh. Are we there yet? Almost. Oh, I smell the ocean. Hmm. How do you feel? I feel great. Yeah. Maybe we should have done this a long time ago. We can catch up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we can. I mean, look, there's the house. Right there. Is that it? That's it. God, it's fabulous, Brad. to town first. The owner left the key with the police department. We're here to see Chief Wayman. Yeah. We already did all that, Miriam. I've been up all night. Now, no, no, don't do that, will you? Now, I'll come right down and get you. Yeah. Right now. I'll meet you on the dock, Chip. Chief. Chief Wayland? Yes? Yeah, Brad Russell. This is my wife, Wayne. Hello. I guess we're catching you at kind of a bad time. Well, we got a fisherman missing. What can I do for you? Well, we're here about the house at Devil's Elbow. We were told you have the keys. You want to rent it, I can't help you now. Well, you don't understand. See, we, we, we've already leased it. Nobody told me anything about that. Well, they must have. Yeah. Does that mean that yeah. we won't be able to get in, or what? Chief, it's for you. Marry him again. Tell her I'll be right there, will you? See, I look after the place for the owner, but unless he tells me something, I can't help you. But we were supposed to be in the house tonight. You can call Seattle. They'll verify this. Yeah, uh, sorry, I can't do that right now. If I just wait till tomorrow, I'll help you out all again. Is there some place that we can stay for the night? Uh, sure, right there. Uh, Harbor Inn, nice place. Thank you. Seattle, huh? How long you folks plan on staying? Oh, just tonight, until we can move into our house. Your house? You have a house here? Well, we, uh, we leased one, yes. You folks fish? <laughs> no. You boat? Uh, no. <laughs> what do you do, Mr. Uh, Russell? Uh, it's Dr. Russell. My husband's a psychiatrist. Why? Just wondering. We get a few tourists in summer. Hardly anybody stays. Thank you. not that bad. No, I know. It's fine. I was just looking forward to being in our house tonight. Alone with you. So we'll be a day late. It's just a mix-up. We'll be in tomorrow. And besides, we're strangers here. They're just trying to be careful. Look at that. It's magnificent. You know, if I didn't know this was the Pacific, I think we were in New England. Suppose the weather's always like this? Well, I don't have the slightest idea. Why? Because I want fog. 
I want to see Brandy all night. I want to lay under a quilt with you. Well, since you put it that way. Brad? What is it? Do you see that man over there? He looks familiar. I think I know him. Really? Yeah, come on. It's Glenn. Glenn Palmer. Dr. Russell. What a surprise. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I was about to ask you the same thing. Oh, this is Elaine, my wife. Hello. Hi. Good to know you. You too. But did I miss something? How do you two know each other? Dr. Russell treated my son Robbie back in Seattle. You know, this is the last place we expected to see a familiar face. <laughs> What are you doing here? I live here. Oh, what I mean is, we live here now. Since when? We moved here last summer. And... Well, we're, uh, moving in now. You, you're kidding. Permanently? Well, for a while, anyway. We leased a house on the beach. My husband is, uh, taking time to ride. And we're taking time for each other. How about you? You, you sketch? Yes. Can I see? Sure. No. I sold some to the tourists this summer, but... Most of my work goes back to Seattle. It's very good. Thank you. You know, my wife's going to be delighted you're here. We've got to get together. Well, we'd love to. But Glenn, how's Robbie doing? He's fine. Oh, well, good. I, I'm glad. No, I mean, he's really fine. It's a miracle. He's normal. Normal? Uh-huh. Glenn, that, that's a little hard to... What's going on? That's right. I'm Max Horton. It's Jeff, my brother. Where'd you find her? A couple of miles out. We were headed back to Port Angeles. Where's Pete? Where's my husband? I don't know, ma'am. We found her drifted and deserted, just like you see her. With the net's out. We boarded her, found the registry, and radioed you. And they got him. They got to do something. Somebody's got to do something. They got my husband. You got to find him. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Bring it in! Bring it in!
I said no, Missy. <laughs> Look, he'll be all right. He'll sleep under the house. Why don't you, why don't you two kids go inside and, and play in your room, okay? I want to talk to Mama. Glenn. Glenn, what's the matter? Something awful's happened. There's been another accident. Pete Schelling's dead. A couple of fishermen found his boat drifting off Devil's Elbow. I'm sorry. Poor Miriam. She hated this place. She always wanted to leave. Glenn, please. Please, can we get out of here before something awful happens to us? Rebecca, I hate living like this. But you know we can't leave because of Robbie. We just had some, I don't know, some other people to talk to. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I, I ran into the doctor who treated Robbie, Dr. Russell. Where? He's here in Clark's Harbor. He and his wife. They're moving into the house on the beach at Devil's Elbow. He's writing a book. Wait a minute. Do you mean that they're here? Yes. Glenn, did you tell him about Robbie? Yeah. Well, not everything. I think there's any chance that maybe he would... You know, check Robbie and find out what's happened. Yes, I do. I think he's very interested. Then there's a chance. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank God for that. Snow! 
is it? Bobby, I don't see anything. I talked to Seattle this morning. They confirmed your lease. I'm sorry you had to wait. Well, that's all right. We're here now. You ever been here in the winter? Mm -mm. Miserable. Cold and damp. Gee, make it sound real inviting. The owner did a real nice job of fixing the place up for you. Kitchen's back there. How long since anyone's lived here? Oh, years. Why? Is it haunted? No, it's the beach down below. Why? What, what about the beach? It's just local superstition. A little superstition helps attract the tourists. Well, we put an isolated down here on a peninsula. We get a few people in the summer, but the winter's too bleak. There's nothing to do unless you want to go fishing. We haven't even got a movie. <laughs> That's OK. We didn't come for that. Well, there's plenty of time for that. I ain't gonna have any power for a day or two, but I'll get somebody to turn it on. There's your key. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Clicker shows. 
That sounds Indian. Well, that's because it is. I didn't know there were any Indians around here. Was once. So you're looking for relics, then? Relics? Yeah. Relics, that's what, that's what I'm doing, all right. I'm looking for relics. So have you found anything yet? Dog. The black mongrel he was drowned. He buried over there. No, no, I meant Indians. I mean, how do you know they're here? How do you know this is, uh, where are you digging for them? The Indians call this beach Devil's Elbow. Y you know who sits at the Devil's Elbow? Death. This beach was used for executions. You mean people were murdered here? Oh, they let the sea do it. The Clickershaws didn't care too much for strangers. They had this, <laughs> this custom, a cult called Storm Dancers, and they put their victims in a pit near the surf, and then they cover him up till only the heads would show, and then the tide comes in and the tide goes out and when it does it drowns the shouts and what the sea didn't finish <laughs> the crabs did <laughs> the, the, the crabs did <laughs> This place looking good. Oh, well, thanks. Needs a little work, but at least it's clean. We always admired this one, didn't we, Glenn? How'd you happen to find it? In the Seattle paper, as a matter of fact. We were looking for a place, and this place sounded right, so here we are. How do you like it here, anyway? Well, um... It gets a little old. Old? Why? You're just so isolated. People here seem real clannish. They, well, they all seem to be related. And they don't accept strangers. Believe me, if you weren't born here, you're a stranger. Why didn't you bring your kids? I'd love to meet them. Yeah, where are they? They're at home. Alone. But Robbie's perfectly capable of watching things. Look, I, I hope you both understand, but I still find that very hard to believe. Why? He's a... Well, he, he was a hyperkinetic child. Real severe. You couldn't sit still for two seconds without... destroying everything in sight. Almost destroyed our whole family. I don't know. Something happened when we came up here. What? What happened? It's... It's the craziest thing. We came up here on vacation last summer. Camped on the beach right out there. The weather was awful. Just like tonight. And that's when it started. What? What started, bud? It changed. Suddenly, he was normal, just like any other child. Overnight? Literally. Glenn, I worked with him for three years. I did everything that I knew. We... we don't know. The sea air? Maybe the, the quiet? But... whenever we tried to leave, he reverted. That's why we settled here. Why we stayed. If you two don't mind, uh, I'd really like to talk to him again. But only if it's all right with both of you. Oh, 
that'd be fine. That'd be fine, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Fine. Suicide. She killed herself. I guess I should have expected something like that. Hello, Doc Jason. Russell, this is Doc Phelps. How do you do? They rented the house down in Devil's Elbow. Oh, a doctor, is it? Yeah, it's of psychiatry. Well, then this ought to be right down your line. Morbid depression, suicide. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. Why not? Well, she visited the house last night. She might have been depressed, but she was far too frightened for me to tell that. Frightened of what? Well, that's the strangest thing. Apparently the storm. Yeah, these storms just appear out of nowhere. They don't show up inland, they don't show up to the north, they don't show up to the south, they're just here. Mm -hmm. Makes you wonder. Well, uh, Wendell. Thanks, Doc. Doctor. Nice to meet you. Chief, where's Rebecca? In the house. You really should try some. Please. It might help. I had a girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just can't. I cannot stop thinking about her. Rebecca, please, darling, you must. Rebecca, if you want, I'll prescribe something for you. Don't you understand? She was in our backyard. But, honey, that could have happened any place. That's where our kids play. They could have found her. I'm just glad at least I was the one who did. Found what? You mean Michelle? How do you know about that? The policeman outside. Did you really see her? Yes, sweetheart, I did. What'd she look like? Robbie, it doesn't matter what she looked like. 
Robbie, uh, remember me, Dr. Russell? This is my wife, Elaine. And you must be Missy. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Were you out there? What happened to her? Well, Robbie, Mrs. Schelling was a very unhappy woman. She, uh, she decided she didn't want to live any longer. What's wrong with that? I mean, if she didn't want to live any longer, why should she live? Robbie! Well, uh, Robbie, it's not right. I mean, dying doesn't solve any problem. You understand that, don't you? I guess so. Mommy, can we go look for Snooker? He never came No, home. I want you to stay here. Oh, Mommy. Mommy's right. Why don't you two go to your room until dinner, okay? And, uh... I'll look for Snicker. I promise you. Okay. Yes. I do remember you. It's unreal. The change in him. It's incredible. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, honey, I wouldn't believe it. You should have seen him before. He was a different person. I mean, a totally different person. Elaine, are you all right? Elaine, this, this could have happened anywhere. Believe me. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll change clothes and, and we'll go into town. We'll have a little dinner, a little something to drink, and... and and you feel a lot better. All right? Elaine, everything's gonna be fine. I promise. safe harbor. Hey, Max! Yeah, what is it? There's a guy here who says the harbor's not safe. What are you talking about? What guy? There was a guy. An old guy here. Why don't you go up to the inn and get us a room? I'll batten it down for you in a minute. something for you? Yeah. I need a room. For one? Two. Oh, my brother is still down at the boat. He'll be up in a few minutes. Sign the register.
For how long? It depends. If this weather blows through tonight, we'll be gone in the morning. Number four, up the stairs. Thanks. Who's that? A couple fishermen come in out of the weather. Yes? Yes, there's a blameable. It's the ones found Pete shelling. Hmm. My brother hasn't been in, is he? Haven't seen anybody. Thanks.
stop it! Come down! You Guard tell us something if we ever get here. Yeah, he's asleep. How is he? All well, things considered, I guess he's managing all right. I think he'll be fine. Can I talk to him now? No, I'd wait till morning. He'll get better answers then. Yeah. Well, excuse me. I guess it'll hold. There's something going on here. It's not the accidents. It's something... something deeper. What? I don't know. It's nothing you can see. I... I just feel it. It frightens me. Oh, honey. Well, what do you want to do? We could reconsider. Well, Elaine, we just got here. Let, let's give it a few more days. I want to talk to Robbie. Right. I, I might not get a chance like this again. Just a couple of days, that won't make a difference. And then, if you still feel the same way, we'll make our decision then. All right? What do you say? night, there's nothing left. Nothing out there. I tied these lines myself. It was a bad storm. It wasn't the storm. Somebody threw these lines. Who? You know anybody do that? I don't know. Why don't you go home? We're doing everything that can be done here. I'll let you know if there's any change. Go on. I'm not leaving. There's nothing you can do here. My boat's wrecked. My brother's missing. Your brother's dead. You got a body? If he's on the boat, he's dead. I'm not leaving till I find out what happened. I'm going to locate my brother with or without your help. along with you? Yeah. Boy, it's beautiful out here, isn't it? I guess. You know, we haven't haven't had a talk together in, a, in an awful long time. Your your dad tells me you really like it here. Yeah, it's okay. I guess most kids like the beach. I know I did. <laughs> what do you like best about it? Storms. Storms? I'll tell you, storms used to scare me to death. Yeah, they make me feel good. How so? Fair enough. I mean, uh, does something happen to you? Do you feel a change during a storm? I guess. Well, how do you feel now? Fine. You feel fine now, but you feel even better during a storm. Yeah, but it's different. How so? I don't know. 
I never can remember. Hello, Glenn. Oh, hi. How'd it go? Uh, did, did you get a chance to talk to him? Yeah, we talked. Well, what do you think? Well, I don't know what to think, Glenn. Look, the other night you were telling us about your first night, the night you and the family spent on the beach. Bobby's yeah. personality seemed to change so much. You mentioned that the, the weather was bad. Bad? <laughs> it was awful. Terrible storm blew up. All of a sudden, out of nowhere. That's, and that's not so unusual around here. It's just that we suddenly weren't prepared. Hey, what are you saying? You know the thing that Robbie likes best about being here? It's not the beach. It's the storms. The storms? He says that during storms, he feels different, that he feels better. Wait a minute. You're saying the storms affect Robbie, that somehow they change him. Is that possible? I'm not saying anything right now. But damn it, something is altering that boy's personality. Something about this place makes him feel calm, makes him feel well. Now, the only clue I have, Glenn, is his fascination with storms. Oh. Is there a library? Do you have one in this town? Yeah, a small one. Why? Well, the next thing I have to do is some research. Research? On what, exactly? On the weather. I'll see you later. OK. Expect you home so soon. I know. Something wrong? Well, you may be right. There might be something going on here. Why? You found something? I found the Shellings were not the first to die. Oh, my God. There were others over the past 10 years. That 10 years is as far as I went back. There could have been a lot of others. What happened to them? Most of them accidents. One suicide, the rest didn't say. But there's a common thread that runs through every single one of them. What? Storms. They all died during storms. And they were all outsiders. You mean strangers? Yes. I want to go, Brad. I want to go now. Elaine, I'm beginning to see a definite pattern. I don't care. But, but, but there's a connection between these deaths and what's going on with Robbie. And I don't care about Robbie. I, it's not what we came here for. You don't have to analyze it. You just said it. There are strangers dying here. And we're strangers, Brad. Elaine. It's not just us. Robbie. And Glenn. And Rebecca. And Missy. Honey, we can go whenever we want to. But they can't. They can't leave.
think, Doc? I don't know. It's hard to tell out here. Well, what's your guess? My guess is that he drowned, but I won't know if there are any other marks on him until I get him to the lab. Said he was going to look for his brother. You think he's crazy enough to go out in that storm? Oh, I'm sorry about your daughter. Yes, yeah, so am I. Must have washed up here after he drowned. What makes you say that? Huh? This beach has a very strange history of accidents. You've been conducting your own investigation. Well, maybe somebody should. Four people are dead. All of them were strangers in the town. What's that mean? What are you asking me for? It's your legend. All these accidents seem to occur during the storms. This is 1982, Doctor. Legends don't kill people. I know that. People kill people. There's something very strange going on here, isn't there? And it's been going on for a long time. Is that true? Look, if you know something, why don't you tell us? But for God's sake, at least give us some protection. I haven't got any evidence. What? I said I don't have any evidence. You've got a body. You can perform an autopsy. I'm going to have an autopsy. It'll be just like all the other ones. Same result, negative. Well, Chief Whalen, maybe it's time you brought some help in from the outside. You think I'm not trying? You think I don't care? You think I don't sweat blood every time the wind blows the wrong way? I've been a police officer 35 years. There's no connection between this and the storms. I haven't got any evidence, so I'm calling that coincidence. I'm doing everything I can. I can't do anything about the storms. I'm a cop, not a witch doctor. Mommy's here. Mommy's dirty. Honey, you just had a bad dream. Shh. Lie down. Come on. Mommy. Honey, it was just a bad dream. Don't leave. Oh, sweetheart. I'm just going to be in the next room. Sweetheart, you just had a bad dream. That's all.
to sleep. No. Want to go outside? No way. Don't you want to get Snooker back? Yes. Come on. No, I'm scared. Bobby, please don't. You better not. I'll tell. I told him not to. He climbed out the window. Robbie! 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 Where did he go? The woods, the beach. I'm gonna go get him. No! Sweetheart, I'll be gone a couple of minutes. No! No, sweetheart. Well, you're gonna be fine. You stay right here and lock the door after me. You'll be okay. What's happened? Robbie's gone! Where'd he go? Uh, to the beach! Where's Mommy? She went to look for him! Oh, my God. You stay here and lock this door.
Want some more? How do you feel, Robbie? Fine. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. You know, you gave us a pretty good scare out there. What happened? I don't know. He does, too. He climbed out the window. Is that true? Did you? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. How is she, Dr. Phelps? Is she going to be all right? She's going to be fine. Can I talk to her now? No, she's asleep. Can't you wake her up? This is important, huh? I am not going to wake her up. I just gave her a sedative. Are you sure she's all right? Positive. All she needs is a few days rest. Could you? Could use some rest yourself. You look worse than she does. Doc's right, Glenn. You need some rest. I can't. The kids... Don't worry about the kids. You take care of them. Really, you just take care of yourself and Rebecca. I'm sorry this happened, Mr. Palmer, but i got to talk to your wife when she's feeling better. This could be the hard evidence we're looking for. Yep. Take it easy. Huh? Please, Missy, you'll hurt my feelings if you don't try and eat. Come on, try. Just for me. Are we moving away? Moving? What do you mean? Back to Seattle. Well, I don't know. I suppose that depends on your folks. No, I like it here. I hate it here. I'm scared. Hey, Missy, come on. It's going to get us. Just like it got Mama. It's gonna get all of us. Honey, what, what is it? Missy. Ghosts. Ghosts? Well, what makes you think that, honey? Old Riley said so. Oh, no, that's just legend. Like a story. No. It's true. Well, have you seen a ghost? No. There you see. But Robbie has. Robbie? What is she talking about? I don't know. He's lying. You're lying. I'm not. You did. Hey, hey. All right. Um... Where? Where did he see the ghost? On the beach. Beach. When? In the storm. Is that true, Rob? I don't remember. He does too. He goes there all the time. You see. Why do you go there, Robbie? I don't know. Well, what do you see? I mean, nobody's going to be mad at you. I don't remember. You were there tonight with your mother. What happened? I don't remember. Robbie, don't lie to me. Hello, this is Dr. Russell. Is Chief Whalen there? When he comes back, would you have him call me? 
On second thought, would ask him to stay there. I'm coming right down. I have to talk to him. Thank you. What are you doing? Well, honey, it's just an idea. But if storms calm him, maybe they have an opposite effect on somebody else. Yeah, but there's got to be an explanation for all this. But what if there isn't? Stay here. You don't have to do this. Elaine, I'll be all right. Please, for me? You just uh, stay put. And lock the door. you when he was coming back he didn't say anything at all is there anything i can do to help you no but if you would tell me where he went then i police department uh, no this is connor who oh wait just a minute it's for you hello the children are gone all right elaine listen look i, I have to go find them no no i I want you to stay there in case they come back, all right? But they're out there in the dark. I don't want you to go try and find them. They probably just went home, that's all. You just stay quiet. Oh,
Riley. Oh, no. I thought he was the one. The kids. Come on. Missy! Robbie! Robbie! Missy! Where are you? Robbie! Answer us! Well, I'm just glad it's over. What do you think happened to Waylon? I mean, what do you think made him go crazy? Apparently, as a child, he witnessed his grandparents being murdered. Ooh. It happened during a storm. They were buried up to their necks in the sand and drowned by the tide. Like the legend? Yeah. I guess the trauma caused him to block it out for years, but something in the storms triggered his memory. And they take revenge for their death on strangers. After the storms, it couldn't remember anything that happened. Do you think storms can really affect people's minds like that? Well, I have to.
Look at Robbie. True. Honey, it's so beautiful here. You want to stay, don't you? Yes. Because of Robbie. Is that all? Well, we never really accomplished what we set out to do here, did we? No. I love you, Elaine. You know, there's just one thing I don't understand. What's that? Who killed Wayland's grandparents? Well, that's probably best left to legend. <laughs>